Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I'd like to show you an arrangement that's just going to be fun. So we've got a few different things. I've got these wonderful artichokes. I've got these beautiful Naranga orange roses and we've got some Vanda orchids. Now this is a, a candle tree that I'm going to use just as a base and we might have used that one before and a couple of pieces of, uh, of floral foam that's been trimmed and then tied. So basically some tape around the middle, that's going to give us the strength that it doesn't fall apart and another one just to keep them together. Now because this is going to have a vertical element I don't need to secure it to the container but what I'd like to do first is just add these. Now they do come with leaves and they can be a little bit jaggy but we really want this just to be our focus. So this is how they come, but these leaves are not generally something that lasts very well, so I tend to take them off. And because this is the heaviest element in the arrangement we're doing, it's good to put that in first. So straight away, we've got something that's a little bit eye-catching a little bit funky and a little bit different. But what I want to use is I want to use these Naranga roses and we're just going to put these in around the edge of the arrangement. So I'm just going to work my way around and this is going to give us quite a strong design Again, I'm using the knife just to do this. So the knife gives us a lovely clean cut. And the, not only is the, the main flower quite architectural, but what we're getting here is a contrast with colour or a good combination of colour. So we've got the orange and the purple. So if you think about your colour wheel, this is a combination that works very, very well. So I was looking thinking, what am I going to use to hide this oasis? Now it does seem a bit extravagant using these roses, but I do have the roses and it seems a real shame not to use them. And actually that's one of the best ways to think about when you're creating flower work is what have I got what, and what can I do with what I've got rather than sometimes thinking about well what would I like to do with a certain thing and then finding that it doesn't actually come in looking the way you want it. So we've basically boxed our oasis off using these roses which straight away is just very striking. Now I have some thistles here as well. I'm just going to use a few of these to create a little bit of a base up the top. And again, this is going to be quite quick and quite fun. And this variety of Eryngium has got a different style to like the Orion and that that you would normally use for maybe a corsage work. But again, it's bringing this colour down onto this level but also bringing a little bit of texture. Now we could just base the whole of that with these, but I have my these beautiful Vanda, and I think the Vanda with this is just going to be amazing. So, let's just place these in. If you find that you're having difficulty getting them in, you can use a wire as well. I don't think we need it with this. 
it's really quite straightforward. And there we go. So I didn't really have a name for this one when we first started, but I think just uh, our Highland twist would be a good one. So I hope you've enjoyed watching our video for today. This shows you what you can do with colour to make something that's really creative and really eye-catching. Whether you love it or hate it doesn't really matter, but it will make people stop and look. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and keep up to date with our videos. Thank you very much.